Hello again, this is where we take a look at some of the weather stories going on around the world. And uh, first of all, we're going to head across the other side of the Atlantic and look at this. This is Hurricane Umberto. Now, Umberto is gaining strength, but the good news for the coastline of the United States is that it's actually working away from the coast. It's working in a northeastward direction. The bad news for Bermuda is it's going to get pretty close later on this week as quite a powerful hurricane crossing close or perhaps over Bermuda. Still some uncertainty in the track, but this could be a significant storm for those in the Bermuda area. Meanwhile, as that storm works through, actually across the eastern side of the United States, we've got some warm and sunny weather with temperatures running above normal for the time of year. The Pacific Northwest is unsettled. We've got cloud and rain working into British Columbia, Washington and Oregon, bringing some fairly cool conditions here for the time of year. Now we'll move away from the United States and head across into India, where we've had record rainfall this monsoon season in Mumbai. The season runs from June through to the end of September. And it's a record breaker, 3.4 metres of rain so far, beating the previous record set in 1954. And it's about 1.4 metres above the amount of rain that normally see in the monsoon season. Now, we have got more rain in the forecast uh, across the western side of India, but the heaviest falls will actually be to the north and east into parts of Madhya Pradesh, eastern areas of Uttar Pradesh, Nepal, and also the northeastern states of India, where I think we could see around 50 to 100 millimetres of rainfall over the next uh, 24 hours or so. There will be some useful rains as well in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. We'll head a little bit further eastwards now because elsewhere in Asia, We've also got some heavy rain on the cards. This is also due to the southwest monsoon, which is affecting the Philippines at the moment, and particularly the island of Luzon. Now, included in that is the capital, Manila, where the southwesterly winds will bring heavy, thundery showers. And we could see some localised flash flooding from these showers in Luzon over the next day or two. This is the picture in Europe. We've got some strong, gusty northwesterly winds heading into Denmark, northern Germany. Gusts of wind about 40 to 50 miles an hour here, bringing plenty of showers. Those showers will rattle through across into Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, where it's always going to be quite cool. And the weather's cold enough across the high ground in Norway to see some snowfall above 1,000 metres elevation. Across southern Europe, it's largely quiet with sunny spells. There'll be a few showers in Spain, but nothing like the torrential downpours that brought that severe flooding over recent days. The outlook, well, it's getting cooler in Moscow. Temperatures just single figures later on this week, but it should get warmer in Paris and warmer in London in the week ahead.